Now we're how old are you? 23, 24? No, no, no. <laughs> 20. Oh, excuse me. We'll cut that out. Um, you look great. Thank you. And a lot of people think that. I mean, they'd like to know your secret as well. I'm hard sure. Work. If there is a secret. Hard work. Hard work. Come on. It's been really and truly, if you think about what keeps one healthy, today it's jogging, today it's working out, and I've been doing it 24 years. I've been <laughs> working out on stage, I've been jogging at the airports, and I've been, been enjoying my work, and I still do. My work takes care of my health, I really think so. Do you get any time to rest? Very little these days. Very little. On, on stage, you, uh, you said that a lot of people ask you, Tina, when are you going to slow down? And you said that you just, you're just getting started. Yeah. So, I mean, what else are you going to be doing? Well, uh, let me see what else I'm going to do. Now, for the first time in my life, I'm packing the 10, 12,000 seaters, and that feels strange but good. It feels quick. It feels like, well, I thought that would be two or three years later, and it's now. Okay. The, part of the dream was that I wanted to be the first black woman to fill like football stadiums. I mean, Aretha didn't do it. She could have. And, and uh, I'll put her the top R&B. I think like she really worked towards, hard towards that. I'd like to feel that and look out there and see all those people. And then there are other movies. I want to do some space movies, some still warrior type up in the air with the fingers and the, driving the spaceship and all of that. I've got just quite a bit of more work to do that I want to do. It's things that I want to do still. About another good. 17 years or something, I think. And then you're going to settle down? I think so. Well, I don't, I'm, we're speaking well, for now. Well, you'll be 37 by that time, 17 years. Just so. about, yeah. Uh, well, you know how it is. I'm going to be busy, though. You don't think of them as human. You don't think of them at all. You keep your mind on the body, keeping your eyes on the wall. And you find a dancer, dancer for money. Do what you want me to do. I'm just a private dancer. So did Mark Knopfler just have a song that was Private Dancer lying around, or, or what? Knopfler had that one on the shelf, shelf because he recorded it years ago, and he felt that it was a song for a girl. And uh, it was just sitting there waiting for me, ha ha. Phil Collins was uh, in the studio a couple of weeks ago, and he dropped a few lines and said that you might be doing something together, a co-production or something like that. We, we have made some contact there. Because he, of course, you know he's a great, great writer. Oh yeah. But my thing today is that I don't like for them to write a song for me. I want them to write it for themselves and then just give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned the difference when they write it for me. I always turn it down, but I always take theirs. <laughs> but no, that, that's the real truth. It's like uh, I just received another one from uh, Holly Knight and something that she had written for herself, and it's just perfect for me. But Phil is looking into that. That's uh, that's something we're working for because we're not going to do the album now, you know, until uh, '86 because this one is still climbing and moving. There's plenty of time, Good. and I'd love to work with him. Um, and you're getting into acting now. Ah, yes. Let's, let's talk about your acting career. Okay, since you asked. <laughs> okay, you said a fair fight. What do you mean by that? As provided by the law. Two men, hand to hand. No jury, no appeal, no parole. Two men enter, one man leaves. Thunderdome. Well, through the success, I was in New York, and, um, and Roger came in, and um, this is really weird. He said, uh, I just said to him two days ago, these are the kind of movies I want to do. And I said, how did Grace Jones get this Conan movie? And, and, that, and that and that and that and that. So he goes, write it down. He says, okay, I'll, I'll look into it. And the next morning he says, George Miller is called from Australia and they want you for Matt Max Part 3. <laughs> <laughs> I just knew that I was going to, I just knew that it was the right part. I knew that that was right and I was mm -hmm. just so high on that. So I was in the tower writing, da -da -da, signing autographs and it was lines as far as you could see. I mean, this is unusual because, you know, my career was big before, but nothing mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. 
And all of a sudden, some of the Capitol representatives came in and said, it's number one. <laughs> and the whole place went wild. It was like my first number one single. And I had a movie, the movie that I wanted. Welcome to the to another edition of Thunder Down! Well, we're on the happy point here. Hold on, let me have a little surprise oh, here oh, for nice. you. Oh, nice! For your Oh, this is a album. wonderful surprise. Oh, Look at this. Let me Platinum see. and gold. All right! Oh, beautiful. Let me show it to the people at home. Yeah, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I got the flag on it. I have to look at it. This is wonderful! I have to tell you just real briefly. I, um... I went to see what I would actually do. Yeah. I'm, but I felt in my head that, okay, five, ten years' time, the wall will be full of my own achievements, but I didn't think it would be the next year. Every country. It's uh, a flag from practically every country, either silver, either platinum, or gold. Mm -hmm. doesn't really matter. What it means is that my first album on my own, you know? So it's, like, wonderful to have the flag of Holland as well. George, Mom! 